So for today's opening skit, I'll be unboxing this little plushie package. It's pretty special. I thought this was going to come in on June, but no, it came a month early. You'll know what I mean in a second. Or, we mean in a second. Teching, I hope you're watching this. It's Barry the Brick. Nice to meet you, Barry the Brick. Hi, Barry the Brick. I'm Pikachu. Oh, that's right. Barry doesn't talk. I love the wings. It, it's safer to throw him since he he's not a brick, so he, he can't hurt anyone. Well, I mean, maybe he might headbutt. Nah, that's... All right. Go to that intro. <laughs> What's up everyone? Totally Emerald and Detective Pikachu here and Barry the Brick right over there. Sorry, he decided he doesn't want to appear in this video uh, since, well, he's a property of teching. Anyway, we're here to review One Piece episode 972 titled The End of the Battle. Odin versus Kaido. Oh yeah, we've reached the pinnacle of the flashback. This is the episode where Kaido gets his scar. Hence the thumbnail. Remember when I said last episode was the best? Well, I was just in the moment. This is my favorite Wano episode so far, and you'll know why at the end. So some fodder soldier locks on targeting Odin, but gets knocked out by a younger, way hotter Shinobu. Not like it makes a difference. I know a bullet can't do anything to Odin. She explains who she is to Odin, and we see so many ninjas of all shapes and sizes from Odin's memory, including a little kid, her. Also, the only re it's only her because Fukuro Kuju, Kojo, sorry if I butcher that. Anyway, he sold out to Orochi. Man, can't trust anyone. Then we get a Naruto reference of them doing the Naruto run. Well... Kishimoda and Oda were rivals for the longest time. Fun fact, Kishimoto referenced One Piece on the last chapter of Naruto when Boruto vandalized the Hokage Mountain. <laughs> like father, like son. We then cut over to Odin's family. Toki is hoping to God they win. Then we cut right back to the battle and the samurai are winning since the first unit is down. Hmm, so far so good. Then we see a younger king and queen. Not much to say about Queen, but King looks so cool. Just look at him. That red religious suit plus the black wings. Damn, if that isn't awesome looking, I don't know what is. Anyway, after the report, Kaido is all, Man, gotta do everything myself, and then fires off a blast breath. Damn, he's not messing around anymore. Things just got a whole lot harder. Just look at the fire. Yeah. Odin then comes out of the fire, staring down Kaido. Kaido's all, just give up. You won't win. But Odin's all, yes, we can. And then now the real fight starts. King and Queen versus the Scabbards. And we get the scene of Dendro holding his own against King. You know, I think this might prove that Dendro might be the third or even second strongest Scabbard. Eh, possibly. But all of this is just appetizers for the main course. I'm talking about... Odin versus Kaido! <laughs> Odin jumps yelling, Kaido, I'm gonna cut off your head! Very funny. Paradise Waterfall! Boom! Kaido blocks the attack, but then, Shing! Shing! Yeah! Go, Odin! Turn that dragon into mincemeat! Odin gets into Kaido's mouth, then, Boom! Pulls his way out. Show him who's boss! Odin gets thrown. He's down, but not out. Now the music cues. Odin stands back up. Kaido considers Odin a worthy opponent as he says, I won't let you rule Wano anymore, Dragon Boy. Let the real fight begin. He's riding Kaido, sliding. Blast breath. Odin, two-sword style. Paradise Totsuka. Odin gets blasted, but is all, I can't lose now, after remembering his journey. I'm not done. As I was saying, Paradise Totsuka. Shing! Damn, did you guys see that? I saw that. Odin scarred Kaido. It was so intense. He landed on the ground. He's in a lot of pain. That was so cool. I think this is my favorite episode of 102. Well, you 
certainly have good taste, Pikachu. After that, Kaido roars. You can tell he's furious. Now Odin's coming for the kill. Kaido's charging his attack. This is it. Will Kaido win or will Odin? Oh, suddenly Odin sees Momo held captive by a beast pirate, but then, boom! Damn, knocked out. And this was all a trap. All, it was just the old hag's power. What a cheap trick! Odin was so close! I know, but they're the villains. They don't play fair. And what's worse, king and queen defeat the scabbards. It's over. Kata won. But you know what always cheers me up when I see bad things happen? Eye catchers! And today, we have two sweet ones. One of them is when Luffy gave everything he had against Kaido and lost. And all he really was able to do was annoy Kaido greatly, and maybe hurt a little. The second eye catcher is when Odin went all out against Kaido. You know, that fight we just saw proves hands down Odin was Yonko level. And if it weren't for that cheap trick, I'd say Odin would have won. Okay, back to the story. Momo and Hiyori are wondering when their daddy is coming home. Gotta feel bad being their mom, trying to hide the bad news. I'd hate to be in that situation. We then cut to Shinobu walking, and according to the narrator, Odin and his followers are jailed in the capital. However, the reason Shinobu is free is because Odin pretended she was an assassin, so they let her go. Man, Odin is a certified badass. He would have made a really great shogun. Unfortunately, the samurai are all sentenced to public execution by boiling in oil. But oil is flammable! They'll die! I know. Also, someone is after Odin's family. So Momo won't govern the country. You know, while we're on the topic, I have two theories on how Momo will age. Theory number one, his mom will be revealed to have survived and she would have awakened her devil fruit. Theory number two, this is more likely, Jewelry Bonnie will come to Wano and age Momo. You know, this will be good for two reasons. One, it'll bring a it, will, it will bring Jewelry Bonnie some uh, significance to the story, helping Wano, you know? And number two, actually that's it. That, that's the reason. It'll give Bonnie some relevance. Finally, we cut to the samurai staring down the oil bath. And like typical One Piece fashion, drag out the oil baths there for 10 seconds. Whatever, you can just fast forward it. No biggie. Orochi and Kaido are sitting on the sidelines. Kaido's all bandaged up. Makes sense, he did fight another Yonka level character just three days ago. And then we hear citizens trash talk Odin, which upsets Shinobu for obvious reasons. Odin then makes a proposal that then this guy slips and falls into the boiler. Jesus Christ, damn, this is intense for a shonen. After that, Odin makes a bet. If they can all get into the pot at once for however long Orochi and Kaido agree to, everyone who survives will be free. Orochi disagrees, but Kaido's all, all right, let's see how long you last. Okay, three things I gotta say about the episode. One, I really believe that the reason Kaido agreed to the bet that Odin just made was because he, sh he showed respect for K Odin. You know, he was the first, emp well, one, his first big, he was his biggest rival, and he managed to bring that huge scar that no one has or has since done. Wow. Yeah, Odin really is a beast, so. And, he, and also, I wonder if Luffy will earn Kaido's respect. I also have heard a theory that, uh, you know how Luffy, um, every time he defeats his opponents, uh, something good happens to them afterwards? Well, this will work for Kaido since his whole um, hobby is suicide, so he'll actually be doing him a favor. Well, kind of. I'm not much new to dead, but hey, it's what he wants. And number three, I know I'm repeating myself, but this episode was by far our favorite episodes. I really mean it this time. The animation, the fight between Yonko. I know I'm saying that, repeating myself again, but the animation has gotten a lot better. Oh, I can't wait for the next movie. I wonder if they'll have even better animation. Eh, probably. Alright. So, you know the drill, Pikachu. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, press that bell icon for more Black Clover, One Piece, and Pokemon content. Alright. Here's the last day as a teenager after show. 
So I'm about to go to the flea market. Yep, straightened my hair and everything. My last day as a teenager. I'm gonna spend it in style. So we've arrived. Yep, there it is. Yeah, so we've arrived in the thing. I'm filming this way because I don't want anyone to sue me for filming their faces. Oh, you don't have to record. You can still record it. Oh, let's check out this delicacy. These look real good. Check out all the really cool plushies. There's Pichu, Pikachu, Knuckles. Oh, uh, that store. Oh, Stitch. Stitch, that's the one. Who's Mr. Krabs, the... Patrick, Shadow the Hedgehog, uh, Baby Yoda. Oh, it's, look, it's me. Yeah, hey, have you ever asked, hey, why is um, Angelique's husband named after a starfish? Why are you named after a snail? Good point. You know what, I've decided I'm taking this one. Hey, excuse me. How much for me? I mean, the snail. All right, film. Hold it carefully. Uh, I'm just taking them up. For everyone wondering why my money's in my shoe, uh, it's because my so these don't have pockets, so. Yeah, I've decided I'm buying tails. I'd like to buy, here you go. Hi. I got thank a new you. friend. Have a good day, thank you. Hi. Thank you. Check out all the exotic local <laughs> <things>. <laughs> Yeah, that looks <laughs> cool. <laughs> oh, just look at all these foods. Yeah. This is okay, right? Okay. The second. Yeah, so cool. Shame we only brought 20 bucks, so I would buy some. I like the, the blue one. Yeah, those are pretty cool. Here you go. Yep, Amaya got me this churro for my birthday. This is really, so far it's been a really good last day as a teenager day. It really has. Aw, just look at the rabbits. Aren't oh, they cute? They're almost as cute as my kids' cabbage and Pikachu. Look at them. So it looks like our trip to the flea market has gone to a close. Well, it was fun while it lasted, but not all things last forever. Nothing lasts forever, actually. But a good hour and a half, that's pretty good. Well, that was my last day as a teen, so I think I'll spend the rest of it playing Pokemon Crystal on my phone. Yeah, I have an entire app that I can play the game for free. Didn't cost me a penny. Literally, not a penny. It's 100% free. Though it's only available on Androids. But can you believe I was going to spend like 20, I think it was like 50 bucks on a Game Boy Color. And it's really expensive when I couldn't just play the one game that I want to do on this phone. Yeah, technology really is amazing.